You excited to get back away from Empire Wars? No, I, I enjoyed Empire Wars. I would love to play more of that. I want Empire Wars to be a part of Ranked. I want them to add a Empire Wars uh, bit to, the, to Ranked. That is what I want. Malays are broken, by the way. I heard you now can get super into Feudalation, into Castellation Imp. I can get so many percentages in there that it will be sick. I would love to be 166% into Feudal Age. That will be absolutely redonkulously OP. What happened to your YouTube account? I got hacked. I don't have access to my account right now. Hoping, I, hoping to get that sorted ASAP. But I cannot give any guarantee for when I will have access again. So I cannot upload videos and things like that. What's your opinion on Tatars? Uh, uh, Emma and Linda, I would... It's very unlikely that I will record my POV while I'm playing. Just add that extra bit of disturbance. I don't want that type of disturbance. Uh, what do you think about Tatters? I think I love their cab options and I feel like it's 400 plus food from Herdables. Um, seem to doesn't seem to be talked to about much. Tatters are alright. They're not a great save. They're not amazing. They are pretty good though. I would definitely say they are pretty good. Yeah, I'm gonna try the Stirrups uh, Cavalier this game with a potential transition to Conic or OP Armor Infantry. How much autopilot is your early game? A lot. Well, in rated games, like casual games like this, it's full autopilot pretty much. Extra sheepies. Do we have Britons? Teal. Why is Britons pocket? Guns should have been pocket, probably. Will you move to the US? Don't think so. Why? Why that question? I wonder. So you got hacked and wrecked in the same week. Apparently so. How do you counter a shitload of Tarkins? Abadirs. Is the way. Who do you think is the best Australian AV player? I guess the guy he played teammates with us the other day. Uh, Shep? Chip? Chep? Ship? Something along those lines. I don't really know too many high level Australian players. Shed. Shed is his name. <sighs> I guess we will just be booming a little bit. No one knows when AV4 is coming out. I'm not even sure if they know. Hard to say. Does Melkor stop playing? I, if I remember correctly, I talked with his brother in ECL. Don't remember ex the exact reason, but I think he has stopped playing because he is traveling somewhere for studies or. I think he also had some issues with his health that kind of made it hard for him to play for a prolonged period of time. I can't say for sure. 
Also, probably none of my business. Um, it's always the middle colors, so like color 3 and 5 is pocket, while color 4 and 2 will be pocket on the other side. No, 4 and 6, sorry. The middle colors will be pockets uh, in these open games. The dream of my life? Have a couple of beers with Viper and the Lord. You will be very fortunate, sir. Not many have had that pleasure. If that is considered a pleasure. Yeah, for one one, stirrups is definitely gonna be more effective than having like paladin, because paladin is just too expensive. So stirrups should be pretty decent for one one, indeed. Uh, seems like decent ratings. Everyone seems to be pretty much twenty two hundred. Good game is eighteen hundred. Oh, Miss Cooks. Viper, Lord, Doubt, and Tato, the new Holy Trinity. <laughs> oh, wouldn't that be great? This is lazy man's deer lure, what I'm doing right now. Oh, yeah, I assume he was talking about me. True, actually. Maybe he's a fan of one of the other guys. Not for me to say. That was very presumptuous of me. You're absolutely correct about that. But I also just sent a heart, right? Could be a message to anyone. Could be a message to the world. Make the world a better place, you know? So, presumptuous of you to assume that I thought that he was call saying big fan of me. I was just sending a art out to the world. Why ranked in team game is higher than 1-1? One, one? I do not know the answer to that question. Watch out. Let's go, team! There a hole here? Why did his scouts get in? Ah, oh, he had a hole. No longer. No longer. I'm just gonna power boom and um, I'm gonna go probably even go like try to go fast for the kill. I want to see if the stirrups feels really good. I want to see and feel the power. So not gonna show much mercy. At all. Like the Salon Mini Cup. I'm gonna go that heavy hard. 
Oh, we gotta be a little bit nice. But still, I wanna feel like feel how how it feels like. Like I won't be able to tell how it is competitively just from this game, but I will have a little bit of a, a little bit of a feeling to see what it uh, what it does. I imagine it's gonna be a really powerful upgrade. So. Golden pe pe tot. Golden teapot, thank you for nine months, man. Very much appreciate it. Do you think any other teams will be sponsored like Secret? Who knows what, what's in store with the way age is growing nowadays? Talk to Dowdy after this week and it was so full of shit yesterday due to the result. It's just banter, dude. Uh, I have talked to him. But it's all just banter. There is uh, no bad feelings or anything in what he's saying. It's just shit talking for fun, like we always do. Let's do a 4th TC as well, so we get that proper power spike. Let's just run for that pull there. From with Sir Kaba versus Paladin is that the Paladin is overall better versus Archers. That is true. That certainly is something that is one has to take into account. Part of it. But there's a big chance you have Stirrup's Cavalier long before he has Paladins. Or he might not even get Paladin at all. So it's a big chance still that your Cavalier are real powerful. We have four or five in your bullet team, right? But we have five. And myself, Tati, Doughty, and Silenili. And New Bulgarians feel buffed for one under 13 game. Fair way of putting it. I have to say though that uh, they, they have the conic though, so taking away Paladin shouldn't be a big, big, big issue. Might even be justified. Did I not say slam as well? Well, slam as well. Apologies. Sorry. Didn't mean to leave him out. Leave him out. Okay, it's a good time for hand cart. Scores are really close, actually. Like that. Sneaky ranges inside here. I actually haven't been looking at all what's been going on. Been going sneaky ranges at 21 minutes uh, without fletching. Might want to get fletching, sir. Heard that is a good upgrade. It's the castle. Slam has been starting rumors left and right about Jordan coming back. Such bastard. Yellow booming like there's no tomorrow. Looks like it. What civs do we have? Turks, Persians, Chinese, and Mayans. Okay, the score still look uh, fairly even actually. How's Eustace, Mr. Viper? Eustace is doing great. Maybe it was on purpose, no fletching. So he could go fast to cast Lage, because he has fletching now. He doesn't have any armor left. 
Yeah. Drop a castle in front of his base. Provide some security. Would love this relic as well. Not that relics matter too much for me. Well, we have now again. Not a best of 21 with Jordan will be so insane. I don't think a best of 21 with Jordan is something. What am I doing armor for? Archer armor. I don't think a best of 21 with Jordan is something that's going to happen in the near future. Maybe age four, who knows? Right, what happened to Jordan? He was back and gone and now back in. No, he's not back. Um, he's very busy with life right now and I don't. I think Jordan is gone for good now. But yeah, never say never. It's Jordan after all. He likes to come back. Four hundred food, two hundred gold. That is a very cheap upgrade considering what it gives. I must say, very, very, very cheap upgrade. Jordan coming back for AB four confirmed. Your words, not mine. Let's prepare trade as well. Yeah, Ryuta has been playing a bit uh, because of Corona, obviously. Got some more time with that in mind. Time for you to go Mangrai, Mr. Mongol. Good job booming. Purple has good uptime, has a good score. So definitely said this team is not push over. Looking at it. Look at that stirrups, boys. How to stop this? Amazing attack speed. Seems powerful so far. I guess you can sort of tell that they're attacking faster. Slightly. I sort of tell it. And he's taking all the markets. Seems pretty good. Pretty good indeed. But the, the timing here is like, I, I have more upgrades than him obviously. One more extra attack upgrade. But having 25% extra attack speed as well, it seems 
quite sick actually. Seems very sick actually. Seems very very good actually. It's dark to think that this has been quite a good buff for them rather than nerf in team game as well. Because you have this potential for the early spike. And I think that's more valuable than having Paladin. Because uh, you want to probably go Conic anyway in, as the game goes on. Seems pretty damn good. It's getting super wrecked. He has heavy camel now though, so let's see how they start trading. Score isn't... Like, we just did a ton of damage, but score isn't... Heavily in our favor still. But I think I have more units to snowball this with. Purple is a she. Okay, well that doesn't really make a difference. The name is the queen. That would support your theory. Selling all my stone, which probably isn't the best idea, but we have so many extra resources. Already have trade up and running. Yeah, this is, this feels really powerful, I must admit. Maybe borderline... oh man. Borderline OP? Borderline OP? You just mentioned because you were saying here. Yep. Fair enough. Oop, not cool. Not cool back. Man, this actually feels really powerful. Like, I'm fighting counter units here. Heavy camels. And I feel like I'm trading really well. Of course, I usually, I most of the time I've had higher numbers. But even so, it feels like I'm trading. I revisited trading. O during the quarantine with my friends. I stumbled upon your YouTube channel and learned so much from watching you play that I now dominate in every match <laughs> against my friends. Keep That's it awesome. up, Vipy. You AT Billy, at Billy, um, that's 42 CHF, what is CH, is that Swiss? No, what is that? CHF. Either way, thank you very much for the 39.84 euros. Um, I'm happy to hear that, I'm glad my games have helped you and that you're now dominating in France. That's awesome. Swiss francs, yeah, got it. Good. Yeah, like I said, I've been fighting with higher numbers for the most part. But it still feels like it's so powerful. I feel like I'm melting these freaking units, man. What? I'm pretty sure... Honestly, Bulgarians, this might be such a big boost to their 1v1 game as well. Like, way bigger than we might be anticipating right now. Because Bulgarians already are pretty good. Uh, for one once This might just kick them up another gear You can have that early really early cavalier cavalier and it also affects Huster as the game goes on right and Bulgarians on top of this You have fully upgraded skirmishers except the last armor I think and You have halberdier You have militia line with sick armor you have conic you have Hustar with and Bulgarians Looking like a solid sieve, must say. It is multiplier. Yes. I'm starting to get get those feelings, you know? Starting to get that feeling. I can't stop the feeling. No? 
regarding Bulgarians. The game plan is very l linear. Linear. I agree with that. That might be their biggest downfall, so to say, right now. What's going on here? Seems like they're holding with <laughs> Britain's... Uh, what are those traps called? Wargolf traps with uh, stone walls and hill. <laughs> this is what why people don't like sometimes to play these types of maps. Dude, you're eating shot! No! Bada boom! What are you doing? Ay, ay, poof! That was about 40, 50 Arbalest down the drain, but okay. Um, like when you can camp on hills with towers, walls, and range units. It can become quite frustrating. You should just go Tarkins here. Great, you should go... Go... I can't type! He is AFK, is he? He's making cow arches there. Or are you talking about Teal? Actually, I think for late game, it makes sense to... Uh... So I normally play about with this zoom, a little bit less. I think it makes sense to go one extra out for late game. Because you don't need the precise clicks anymore, or as precise clicks. It becomes more about the bigger overview and the macro. I might start doing that, zooming one step out. Oh, he is safe, okay. True. Fair point. Uh, man, this feels so sick, actually. Yeah, I might start zooming out one, one, just one tile. No. As uh... I know I have a lot of cavalry hitting this thing, but still, it feels ridiculous. Stronger version of Rimba. It's cheaper, it uh, snowballs way faster in my opinion. Let's make some stables here. We are negating all the trade here, so it should hurt them. I must say, this feels pretty sick. Sling them. I'm doing the sling upgrade, so I will start helping out with sling. In a sec. Oh, he's auto scouting! <laughs> what a beast! I think it was auto scouting. Maybe not. I don't know. Why are they so good? Well, they get. I mean, you have all the full upgrades, Cavalier upgrades, right? But now you get 25% bonus on top of that. Okay, he was going Paladin. So he wasn't AFK after all. Although he still was AFK. They're holding by themselves. They don't need me. Need resources. I'm gonna sling uh, Gray my. Blew my stone so we can make more castles. 33%. Is it 33% even? No, it's 25%. Obese chicken. 25%. Um, at Billy, dude, thanks again for that big donor there. I think they're calling it. This always feels weird when they're resigning without saying GG that someone from our team writes GG to them. It feels a little bit disrespect, but at the same time, it's it's fair, right? 100% is actually 33% more. It's 25% less reload time, which works out to 33% attack speed. Um, okay, that's pretty sick then. Pretty damn sick. So you don't call GG. In my opinion, you only say GG if you're losing. You don't call the GG for the other team. If they don't want a GG, that's fine. Then you just stay silent, in my opinion. Or at least that's how I like to do it. But if they wanna, if they call GG, then you answer back, right? 
Okay, 33% higher, better attack then. That's actually pretty sick. So, let me check. Uh, that felt, gotta say, that felt really, really powerful. I don't think there's too much to watch here. Snowballed out of control really fast. Real, real fast. <laughs> 